Welcome back. In this video, we're going to walk through setting up a Terraform Cloud workspace with a version control workflow that triggers its runs from a Git repository hosted on Azure DevOps. In a previous video, I walked through setting up a workspace to integrate with GitHub. So if you're interested in that, a link to that video should be popping up above. In that video, I explain a little more detail about version control workspaces in Terraform Cloud. In this video, however, there will be a little less explaining and a little bit more doing. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is confirm that third-party access via OAuth is enabled in your Azure DevOps organization. So let's jump over to Azure DevOps real quick. In Azure DevOps, go to Organization Settings. Then, under Security, click on Policies. Then, make sure that the setting for third-party application access via OAuth is enabled. Great. Now that that's all set, you'll also need to verify that the account you're using to connect to Terraform Cloud has the right privileges. In this link, which I'll put in the description below, it explains that the user account must have Project Collection Administrator access to any projects containing your Terraform repositories. Okay. Now let's jump back over to Terraform Cloud. Now, before setting up a workspace, we need to set up the integration between Terraform Cloud and Azure DevOps. At the top of the page on Terraform Cloud, we're gonna click on Settings. Then, on the left-hand side of the page, click on Providers under Version Control. Now, click on Add a VCS Provider. For this video, we're gonna be choosing Azure DevOps. And under the Azure DevOps dropdown, select Azure DevOps Services. On the next page, we have some instructions on how to connect to Azure DevOps. Click on the link in step one to go to your Azure DevOps service profile to register a new application. You may be prompted to log in Azure DevOps if you haven't already. Now we need to enter in some details from the last page to register this new application. I'm going to go ahead and position both of these pages side by side to make it easier to view. Under Terraform Cloud, copy the information from step one over to the Azure DevOps page. For this, you're going to need the company name, application name, application website, and authorization callback URL. Next, under Authorized Scopes, we need to give this new application the necessary permissions to Azure DevOps. For this, we only need to check off two boxes, Code Read and Code Status. And since I have my pages shrunk down a little bit, I just have to scroll over to the right a little bit just to see Code Status, but I promise you it's there. Okay, now scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and click Create Application. Now go to step three in Terraform Cloud. Here, we need to enter the app ID, client secret, and optionally a display name for the provider. So go ahead and copy those values over. Once everything has been filled in, click on connect and continue. On the next page, you'll need to authorize Terraform Cloud's access to Azure DevOps. So click on Accept. And finally, we're going to skip the optional step of setting up an SSH key pair. So click on Skip and Finish. All right, now that the Azure DevOps provider has been configured, let's go to Workspaces. Then click on New Workspace. Choose the Version Control Workflow then, select the Azure DevOps provider that we just created. Now we should be able to see a list of repositories from Azure DevOps if everything connected appropriately. For this demo, I'm going to use my TFC test repository. This repository contains a small sample Terraform configuration. We're going to take a look at that in a moment. Next, choose a name and enter a description if desired. The name will default to the name of the Azure DevOps repository, so I'm just going to keep that. 
Now click on Create Workspace. When that's complete, click on Go to Workspace Overview. On the right-hand side of the Overview page, we have some details about this workspace. The first link is a link to the GitHub repository for this configuration. Let's click on that and check it out. In this repository, I have one Terraform file, main.tf. And in that file, I have a null resource that will run five times using the count function. All right, so let's go back to the workspace overview. Now, click on Start New Plan. Here, you can see the TFC test null resources from the GitHub repository in the plan output. Notice there are five of them. Now scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Confirm and Apply. You can add a comment here if you like, but it's optional. Once you're ready, click on Confirm Plan. Once the apply finishes and we can see the five test null resources, let's go back over to the overview page. We should now see the latest run that was triggered from the UI. Now let's see what happens when the configuration in Azure DevOps is modified. I'm going to go back to my TFC test repository and under main.tf, I'm going to click edit. Then I'm going to update the count from five to 10. Now click on commit and then commit again. Now, if I quickly go back to Terraform Cloud, we should see a new run getting queued up. Now I'm going to click on see details for the latest run. Under the plan details, we can see that since I changed the count to 10, it's now going to try to create five more resources. Now at the bottom, let's click confirm and apply and then confirm plan. Awesome. So that was a quick demo on how to set up a version control workspace in Terraform Cloud connected to an Azure DevOps repository. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.